Uh, here we go, man. Another episode, Rockstar Reacts. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, the most hated, the most opinionated, the most underrated. You know the truth. Like, comment, subscribe right now. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel, become a member. Also, follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know, we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap. Now, let's get into it, man. Y'all already know. Adam22 calls out Wack 100 for being fake with Snoopy Badass. Yes, if you haven't seen the interview between Wack 100, Snoopy Badass, Adam22 on the Adam and Wack show, where Wack embarrasses Snoopy Badass, I guess Adam is calling out Wack for saying you're fake. You're being fake with Snoopy. I don't know where he's getting that. I mean, could it be that, you know, you're going to DP, you got him DP, then you bring him back up there and you know he's a rat. And you still bring in, you stand firmly on people telling on big you, everybody, and you got the nerve to sit down with Snoopy Badass? It is not adding up. It's not making sense, man, why he wants to call truce. You know what I'm saying? I know he likes to embarrass people on the low and, and, you know, in a different form of fashion, you know, but at the same time, why even entertain it if you know the truth? So let's get into this. Adam 22 calling out Wag 100 for being fake with Snoopy Badass. Let's see what Adam got to say. Let's go. Has there been any any movement on the Snoopy Badass Pie Roof front since you basically told him that he should leave that alone? I don't think he's going to leave that alone, right? Um, I think that interview put him in a position to where he can't go that route, but he can continue to grow in another route. Hmm. Today, he texts me. What's he saying? Same shit. Like he's struggling with it. With whether he should... Maintain his status he's in the streets. Str he's struggling with it, brother. And, and I had to fire up a coin. What? <laughs> he's struggling with. Bro, ain't nothing to struggle. That's what I'm tripping like. Ain't nothing to struggle with. It's clear cut, Snoopy. Like, it's not for you. And you let this man embarrass you. You need to hop out the car while you can. You understand? Quima merch on, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd All you get fingers. that? On the fingers. Oh, it's on the fingers. Oh shit. Okay. I'm a collection. That's hard. Um, he's struggling with out of nowhere. He just texted me this shit. And I was telling myself, like, this is crazy. It must be with him. I don't think it was that bad. Was it that bad? Okay. There's been a narrative put forth by some people who've suggested that it, you probably made him think that the conversation was going to go a certain way on the phone. And then once you got him on here, you ended up letting your true feelings slash your whack theatrics show and basically seemed a little bit more negative than you might've seemed on the phone. Would you say that that's accurate? Because no, some people might say that you kind of did the same thing to G face. You, <clears throat> you spoke to him on the phone. You seem like you're on good terms and you get him on here and you kind of grill him more than he well, might've no, expected. Well, you said G face one day. That's a fact. Adam, Adam, Adam be on point with Wack, man. Adam, Adam see right through Wack. I swear to God, he do. He he understands to a certain. I think he didn't catch on at first, but I think now he he's got him down to a science. The interview, not me. Oh, so you didn't talk to him before the G face? No, okay. no, no. Um, everything we interviewed about, mm. I talked to Snoopy about on the phone. Right now. What would the fans have said if Snoopy got up here and all we talked about is his music and we let him talk about Munchie B mm. and Spider Loke and nothing else was No, addressed. for sure. I mean, Snoopy was coming on here to talk about something pretty specific. Now, yeah. it's the same Couple reason why I interviewed 6 9 Right. Nobody could interview these, these guys when it comes to that kind of shit, unlike somebody that come from that kind of shit. Mm. So I didn't ask him or I didn't say anything to him that I haven't said before. Mm -hmm. Right. So this morning he hits me, says, how do you snitch on somebody and help them at the same time? Nigga said, why I didn't slide for worm, but then said, oh, forgot you helped him and snitched on him. That's why them fake ass snitch allegations ain't going to stick. Can't help a nigga and snitch on him. I replied, Say what you want. That was snitching. You don't rewrite the rules. This is why I said this ain't for you. He said, okay, you did that. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling him, maybe you should go 
This nigga whack, man. He cold, homie. He cold, but I mean, he keeping it real with him as possible. You got to respect it. But at the end of the day, it's just like, Snoopy, you doing this to yourself, homie. Start another movement. But in this movement, that shit don't fit. It'll and, never and, fit. And you take offense to it because he's flying under the same banner that you've been well, under. Well, I, I have to, you yeah. know. Um, Would you care as much if he was representing a different flag? Um, if he was representing a different flag, the I was principles still, would be the same, but you wouldn't. I would still as call invested. him out on it, but no, you know, you gotta understand, I got a certain obligation too. Um, I'm scrutinized too for interviewing him. Mm, oh, even for sitting with him? Yeah, all day long because by law, right? I was supposed to violate him. Violate meaning violate him. attack him. That's a fact. Mm. But that's a fact. But you did. But what? But I spoke to the man as a man. Mm -hmm. I talked to you as a man. This is a place of business, and you know I really um I stand on uh those people that he violated and whatever. Then that's something for you to deal with. Now if we were in prison somewhere. And and that was what that was. Then I'm obligated. I'm it. But we're not in prison. You know, he's on the street. Y'all see him. Y'all know where he at. He moving around. Uh, he's living in the greater L.A. somewhere, wherever he's at. You know, that's on y'all to take that penitentiary chance and deal with that. Mm. Um, but I did address. But you go to expose it, right? But you go to let it be known. You go, you go insert yourself and get involved, however. That's it. He respected my call. I asked him not to disrespect his neighborhood mm -hmm. in front of me because his neighborhood is a par rule set. And when I hear anything like that, I hear everything that it represents, which at the end of it is par rule. And then that forces me to have to engage in something I don't want to engage in because I just want to do an interview. But no, it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't set out to um, dogging. I just set out to have a real conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, Adam, you, you've you been sitting down with me for a while. You know when I'm on some bullshit versus I'm just speaking some real shit. I felt like you were harsher with G-Face. Like you, it I, felt like you were a little bit empathetic to Snoopy's situation, even though you were trying to hold him to the fire. And you know why? I gained a little respect for him. Mm hmm the three times I spoke with him, one thing that was consistent was, okay, baby girl, it's time for nap. Time for your nap. Mm. Uh, hold on, daddy, about to make you some lunch. Right. Okay, come here, get your thing, let me do your hair. And even when booking the podcast with him, that was the biggest concern, was that he had to find time in which he wasn't taking care of the kids. He's fighting for custody with his kids. So, you know, that part of me I like, that's why I said, like, bro, don't keep playing with this because the way you see it, right, is going to happen. So you got sympathy for him because his kids. And you got this man DP. You embarrassed this man, but you, you have somewhat empathy because he, he taking care, he trying to get custody of his kids. Okay. Have you in a situation, another homie in a situation, and then – Maybe your your kids without a father because mm. you're dead or you're in prison or you end up in a wheelchair. Mm. So it's like he doesn't understand that this is how this goes. I mean, bro, I don't know if you play football. If a keep jumping off sides, they're gonna take they're gonna take him off the field. He don't get it, bro. You can't move to the ball's height. I feel like my like one thing that always kind of stands out to me about the gang shit is that there doesn't seem like there's any room for forgiveness or learning or penance or, you know, like like Snoopy, even during the podcast is acknowledging that he might not have handled that situation in the best way that if he knew what he knew, he knows now he probably wouldn't have, uh, you know, testified on behalf of this guy or whatever it was. And it feels like he knows that, but he also is wrapped up in this gang culture where there is no room for you to ever have made a mistake. And it feels like if he was being totally honest, he would probably just say, yeah, I fucked up. I made a mistake. I wouldn't do it again. In most walks of life, that's an okay way to deal with most things. But in the gang shit, it's like you fuck up once your name is permanent. But how smeared. we see it is once you do it, once you 
do it again. Now, let me tell you what's f***ed up about this. Um, It's probably about 30% of the gang members put through the test. Mm. If you're going to tell or not, you're under the light. We got another 70% out there that probably 60 to 70 percent of that 70 percent would tell. Mm. They've just been lucky enough not to be put in this situation. Right. I mean, look, man, to each his own. That, to me, y'all trying to wrap y'all head around something that's uncontrollable. Somebody going to tell, they're going to tell. That's it. That's all. But y'all want to shed light on it. Y'all want to have empathy and sympathy for this guy. And it's crazy to me, like, why are we even talking about him? I've been in this situation, accused of some shit I didn't do a couple times. Mm -hmm. Murders, robberies, booked me for it, and just fought it. It's a fucked up feeling. Because you say, well, if you're my homeboys, why won't you come take your shit? That ain't how it works. To you, you would be like, well, if that's your friend and you're in there for something, you, 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 you know, he did, he would come tell him, right? Mm-hmm. That's not how this shit work. It's 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 unorthodox. It, it's irrational. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is what it is. And like I told him, when you signed up for this shit, it wasn't based upon them changing any of the rules. And because he's not getting it, mm. I know. Look today, what he wrote me. He's still fighting with his wrong being right. Mm -hmm. I know he'll f around and make a, a haste decision. And then we'll look up and I'm seeing on Instagram his babies crying. Mm. So I'd rather like say, like, yo, bro, just go your way at Snoopy. He always trying to use somebody's kids against him. He called. Badass as a rapper, leave that alone. It's not for you. Really makes you think about how up this cycle is, though, because like that guy who filmed the video where he popped out with the gun on Snoopy. I mean, if that situation had gone a little bit different, think about how up the lives of all his kids are if he gets removed from this earth over some cloud and they can see shit. it yeah and they would be you know, able to grow see up it. seeing it all the time yeah all right man we're gonna kill it right there you know what i'm saying uh that's whack adam calling out whack on his bs you know what i'm saying um uh, i think adam kind of sees right through uh whack a little bit so i mean y'all let me know what y'all think in this video you know what i'm saying was whack wrong is whack being fake you know what i'm saying uh is snoopy badass accepting that he no longer needs to be uh uh uh, uh inserting himself affiliated with this gang activity or whatnot and, and speaking on gang uh 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 you know situations or whatnot but uh y'all let me know what y'all think man y'all decipher for me hop in these comments during and after you already know the hottest content in these internet streets. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, the most hated, the most opinionated, the most underrated. You know the truth. Like, comment, subscribe, become a member. Also, follow Smut Free TV on IG. Hop in them comments because every comment counts. And y'all already know. I shouldn't have to even say it. Stay tuned for more Rockstar Reactions. I'm gone.